Is there anyone against this marriage? A priest asked inside a church. After a few moments of silence, the groom's brother jumped from his seat and confessed his love for the bride. You were the first girl I fell in love with at school, he said. Before we continue, please take some time to subscribe to Daily Dose, like and share this video with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them to do good. Also keep watching because an important lesson awaits at the end of the video. Harry would feel his heart race whenever his classmate Kitty waved at him or sat next to him. She considered him her friend, unaware that the shyest boy in her class had feelings for her. Why don't you tell her that you like her, Harry? His best friends often asked him. I don't think she likes me, he would reply. The truth was that Harry was afraid of rejection. Even if he did muster up the courage to ask her out, he wasn't ready to take no for an answer. One day, Kitty came to Harry's house for a school project with her friend, Rose. After discussing the details of the project, Harry escorted Kitty and Rose to the main door. I hope the presentation goes as planned. Harry smiled at Kitty. Yeah, don't forget to rehearse your parts, everyone. We need to score the highest grade on this project, Kitty said before the main door suddenly opened and Harry's brother, Billy, entered the house. Hi, Billy. Harry waved at his brother. Meet my friends, Kitty and Rose. Hi, girls. I'm Harry's elder brother and the smarter sibling, of course. Billy chuckled and lightly punched Harry's chest. Kitty and Rose laughed while Harry rolled his eyes at Billy. I'm just kidding, Harry. You're the best. Billy laughed. At that point, Harry had no idea that he would soon regret introducing his brother to the girl he liked. Bye, Billy and Harry. Kitty chuckled before she walked out of the door with her friend. Harry's love for Kitty grew stronger as he grew older, but he never dared to confess his feelings. I will propose to her once I graduate and get a job, he would tell himself. One day, while Harry was still in college, he saw Billy sitting in a restaurant with Kitty. What are they doing together? He wondered but didn't confront his brother until later that night. Hey, Billy, Harry said while entering his elder brother's room. I wanted to talk to you about something. Sure, man, come in. Billy gestured for Harry to sit on the bed. So this is about something I saw earlier today. Harry fidgeted with his fingers nervously. Go on, man, I'm listening, Harry said while looking into his phone. Um, I saw you and Kitty having dinner together. Are you guys? Kitty's name caught Billy's attention, and he instantly kept his phone down and looked at his brother. Yeah, we were having dinner together. I asked her out on a date, Harry. You're dating Kitty? Harry's eyes widened. He couldn't believe what Billy had just said. Yeah, I thought you already knew. Billy squinted his eyes. Didn't she tell you about it? Harry could feel the heat in his cheeks and the drainness in his mouth. It felt like he hadn't had a drop of water for ages. Uh, no, she... I mean, she didn't, he replied, and quickly stood up to leave Billy's room. Wait, man, where are you going? Billy tried to stop his brother, but Harry left without responding. The girl he had admired all his life was now dating his brother. It was a harsh reality, and Harry could do nothing but accept it. However, he wasn't too worried about it because he knew Billy was never serious about dating. He had dated many girls, but never planned to marry them or have a long-term relationship. I'm sure they will break up in a day or two, Harry thought, trying to calm himself. The next day, he told his best friends about Kitty and Billy. You had no idea they were dating? One of Harry's friends asked. No, they never told me about it, Harry shook his head. But I'm sure Billy will break up with her in a week or two. He always does that. Yeah, but what if he's looking for a serious relationship this time? His friend asked sternly. You know Billy is not one of those guys. I think you should confess your feelings before it's too late. I will do that once Billy and Kitty break up. Don't worry, Harry said. Harry knew he would never muster enough courage to confess his feelings to Kitty. He lied to his friends to buy time and avoid talking about his feelings. As time passed, Harry began to notice that Kitty didn't talk to him as much as she did before. He felt she had distanced herself and rarely shared details about her life. Have I offended her? He wondered and decided to talk to her about their friendship. After returning home that day, Harry slid his phone out of his pocket and called Kitty.
As the dial tone rang, he nervously shook his legs left and right and took a deep breath. Hi, Harry. How are you? She said after answering his call. Hey, Kitty. I'm fine, he replied. Um, I was wondering if you could have coffee with me tonight. Oh, tonight? Actually, I have to go to dinner with someone. Why don't we meet the day after tomorrow? I'll be free then. Okay, that sounds great. Take care, Kitty. You too. Harry was happy that Kitty had agreed to meet him. He wanted to talk to her about their friendship and even thought he could try hinting at his feelings. Little did he know that Kitty was going out on a romantic date with Billy that night where he had planned to propose to her. The following day, Harry was sitting at the dinner table with his family when Billy said, I have something to tell you all tonight. What is it, sweetheart? His mother asked. I wanted to tell you all about my girlfriend, Kitty. You never told us you have a girlfriend, Billy. His father chuckled. Harry knows about her. She's friends with him. Billy pointed at Harry, who was looking at him with eyes wide open. Right, Harry? Yeah, I know her. Harry forced a smile. I proposed to her yesterday, and what? Harry looked at his brother with his eyes wide open. He could feel his heart pound inside his chest. You proposed to her? Really? Did she say yes? His mother interrupted. Yes, Billy exclaimed. She said she wants to marry me. Harry nearly choked on his food after hearing the news. Oh my God. How can Billy marry Kitty? This is so unexpected, Harry thought. Oh wow. My son is finally ready to begin a new chapter of his life. Billy's mother hugged him. I can't believe this. I'm so happy for you. Good job, Billy. His father smiled. Thank you, Mom and Dad. We are planning to get married in two months, Billy said and looked at his brother. What do you think, Harry? Is there enough time for the preps? Feeling upset, Harry returned home, but he still didn't want to give up. Yeah, I guess, Harry replied before he left the dinner table and stomped out of the kitchen. What happened to him? Billy's eyebrows came together. Is he not feeling well? No, sweetheart, his mother replied. Your brother is fine. I think he is just tired. Harry entered his room and slammed the door behind him. What have I done? He said and buried his face in his hands. I lost my chance of confessing my feelings to Kitty. He sat on his bed and stared at the ground. What should I do now? He wondered. Watching the love of his life, marry his brother would be the most painful moment, but he had no idea what to do next. He met his friends the following day and told them about Billy's decision. We told you to confess your feelings, Harry, one of his friends said. I know, but what should I do now? Harry questioned helplessly. It's too late now. You can't do anything about it. But forget her, Harry. Your brother is going to marry her now. Feeling upset, Harry returned home, but he still didn't want to give up. He wanted to tell Kitty about his feelings, but he had no idea how he would do that. During the next few days, Harry helped Billy with the wedding arrangements and often met Kitty but couldn't tell her anything. The night before their wedding, Harry thought he should run away. I won't be able to see Kitty dressed as a bride, Harry told his friend. Come on, Harry, his friend replied. You need to get over her. I don't think I can do that. But why? You can date any girl you want, Harry. Kitty isn't the last girl left on this planet. You won't understand, Harry replied. The following day, Harry accompanied his brother to the church despite not wanting to attend the wedding. He was nervous and wanted to run away. Why am I even attending Kitty's wedding? He wondered. Soon, Kitty walked towards the altar with her father, wearing a beautiful white dress. The sparkle in her eyes was something Harry had never seen before. She looked so happy, he thought. Once she reached the altar and stood beside Billy, the priest came forward and asked the guests if they had any objections to the marriage. There was silence in the church for a few seconds until Harry spoke up. I do. I don't want Kitty to marry my brother, he said. The guests gasped in shock while Billy and Kitty looked at Harry with eyes wide open. What do you mean, Harry? Billy asked. I'll explain, Harry said before he walked towards the altar while all the eyes in the room followed him. He could hear the guests mumbling amongst themselves, but he didn't care. He knew this was his last chance to confess his feelings. 
I have something to tell you, Kitty. Harry looked into her eyes. What is it? Kitty looked at him angrily. You were the first girl I fell in love with at school, and since then, I haven't even thought about anyone else. Harry put his hand on his chest. What is this, Harry? Billy grumbled. Let me explain, Harry said calmly. I have wanted to confess my feelings to you, but I always felt so shy. I think this is my last chance, so here it goes. I love you, Kitty, from the bottom of my heart. Harry cleared his throat and held Kitty's hand. Will you marry me? Are you crazy? Billy yelled. Can't you see I'm about to marry her? Wait, Billy, Kitty said calmly. I know you had feelings for me, Harry. And at some point, even I liked you. But you never told me about it. You did. Harry looked at her with raised eyebrows. Yes, but you should have proposed to me earlier, Harry, Kitty said before she looked at Billy. Your brother asked me out on a date and said he wanted to marry me and I couldn't say no to him. I really like him and I can never imagine marrying anyone except him. I'm sorry, but I can't be with you, Harry. I'm in love with Billy and want to spend the rest of my life with him, Kitty smiled. Harry looked at the guests, then walked away from the altar with his head bent down. He regretted not listening to his friend's advice and feeling shy whenever they asked him to confess his feelings. I guess I deserve this, he said before he left the church.